Hey, what's up, guys? Darkwicker here. In today's video, we are gonna spectate Kirks on his Soraka. His Soraka, 100% win rate in 20 games. He has 85% win rate right now. He actually had like 90%, if you guys saw one of his screenshots. Um, yeah, if you guys wanna see how broken Soraka is, then this is the perfect video for guys to watch. Let me show you guys the item really quick. This is the. Wait. Bup, 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 bup. Soraka, I think he's top 3 right now. That's the build he's running, going with the Road of Age, Death Cap. He gets the tier so he can spam his the second ability over and over. Step of Flowing Water, more healing. Um, gives you ability haste and ability power. And then, the Enchantment gives you more healing. Then he's running Relic Shield, gives, uh, makes him more tanky. Airy for the poking damage. Font of Life for more healing, Bone Plating, Damage Reduction, Revitalize gives you more healing or you provide more healing, the Mana Flow Band for more mana, and then Heal plus Flash. That's the item build, but the Kirk uh, is running a YouTube channel with Vinde as well, it's Pro, Pro Rift Guides. Oh my god, I'm trolling, it's Rift Guides. So you guys can definitely check out Rift Guides as well, Wait, I'm going to show it to you guys really quick. That's Kirk's voice, by the way. Wait. Watching this video, you'll know everything you need to know. <laughs> uh, you will know everything you need to know, by the way. The channel name is Rift Guides. No, I got it. Rift Guides, Challenger, Wild Rift Guides. Definitely check it out as well if you guys want to see some lovely tearless videos and tips. But yeah, that's good. And uh, let's get started, I guess, with the uh, gameplay, huh? I think this is the right video. You guys can see his top two Soraka in this gameplay. He's playing with Kranix, by the way. Kranix is rank one in Europe. This is a uh, spell account. So we're gonna watch a lovely Soraka gameplay. Wait, let me. Do I have to zoom out or should I kind of keep it like this? Actually, it's not even bad if I keep it like this. It's more zoomed in. Yeah, it's fine like this. Okay, one guy, one thing you guys will notice is um, Leona is uh, rotating for an invade right now. And since it's a 1 versus 2, they're gonna play aggressive and try to zone the Ezreal away from the Lassit. Like, he's taking a lot of damage, he's not getting anything of those um, Lassits as well. But yeah, the Volibear is getting invade, he's gonna die for it, but uh, at the same time they're also punishing the enemy ADC for this rotation by zoning him away. Getting a lot of free poker, now they can now can then they can actually push in and then die for him if he stays. He's actually resetting, they're still freezing him. They're just freezing him, he's still level 1. So that's what you wanna do, by the way. Another dive, the Leona is diving again. The thing is, they, they are both level 3 with a big wave crashing in, and Ezri is only level 1. So look what they're gonna do right here. Soraka lands the silence. Boom. He can't do anything. He just can't do anything. And all of those minions right here, like, you know, they zoned him away from the minion wave, and now this entire minion wave is crashing, they get two platings, and Ezra is losing everything. He's losing everything. Yes, you get Soraka, but you give a shutdown to the Kaisa on top of that. So Kaisa got two kills now, got a plating. Ezreal, 880 gold. Kaisa, 2600 gold. This is what you have to do if the enemy support is roaming and trying to innovate and trying to do something. You need to punish the enemy laner for this. He's going for Rome, trying to heal up the 
Probably because you love the Ari, but Ari dies to the Riven Ultimate. The enemy Riven is gonna play this game really, really well, though. I mean, right now, since they're stronger, what they're doing is they're just trying to get some more playthings for more additional gold. Lancer W. So Raka uses ultimate for topside since Wundo's getting uh, dope right now. Still dies though. Goes in. Lancer silence. And Soraka just heats him up. Soraka just heats the kites up again. Lancer, ooh, that poke, they're just diving them with the poke, they're just poking, they're just poking them down, they're just completely poking them down. Oh, Riven is here, okay, they're just backing off. I think my cam is a little bit too big. I mean, it's not like you see I'm missing anything, by the way, here. He has Exhaust, Kraken, and First Strike Pantheon, you guys are not missing too much. Vladimir gets a solo bolo on the Ari. Like, let's see this kill score. Okay, it's maxing the second ability. Aisa jumps in. Does he get the kill right here? Strokai's healing. He does get the kill, but Riven is right. Riven is here. Gets kills. We're 7 1 Riven, by the way. 5,000 gold for Kaiser. 6,000 gold for Riven. 2,600 gold for the Asriel only. Well, Volibear is also behind. Volibear is 3,000 gold behind almost. While Kaiser is 2,000 gold ahead. Okay, so Raka has Road of Age for scaling now. It's gonna grant her a lot of HP, ability power, and mana. Okay, they're trading. It's gonna be a one for one. Um, Riven is gonna take Herald plus Mithrid, while the others are gonna go for that Dragon. The Dragon is gonna be useful for Soraka. Uh, because of the ability hate, so can you see uh, so she can sp uh, spam her abilities even more. Okay, Pantheon coming in. He's gonna set up the silence. So Pantheon is gonna get silence right here while he's jumping in. But nice ultimate by Leona, and they get the pick off. They got two kids for this. So, Perks and uh, Kranix are gonna get the bot to it, but in return, then I'll get two kills. Vladimir is strong in the late game. Vladimir is gonna be really strong in the late game. Riven again gets another pick off. 0-3 Mundo, 0-2 Volibear, and 2-3 Ari. Right now. Vladimir 2-3-4 gets the Liandri. Um, I guess for Volibear and Dr. Mundo, even though Riftmaker is better for Saitum. Would give him a way more sustain as well. This work is rotating, Panther is slow life. They're trying to see right here, but the others are coming. Leon and Vladimir here. Estriel is coming, Riven might be also coming. Yeah, Riven is also gonna start rotate now.
Okay, Riven is gonna collapse and get the Dr. Mundo kill. Volibear jumps into suicide. Ari is getting caught. Ari is also gonna die right here. Probably. Q, W, and dies. Looking really bad right now. It's a. S yeah, a little bit more than 6,000 gold lead for the opponents. Riven sitting at 10 1 right now. 9,000 gold. They have also really good late game. Vladimir, Ezreal are so strong in the late game. Looking really bad right now, but hey! It's Raka, Kaisa late game with Volibear plus Mundo frontline. So at this point, I was like, it's still winnable. They are probably still gonna win this. He finishes the Muramana into and the Manamun into Muramana now. Dragon's gonna spawn in 30 seconds. Let's see whether or not they can fight this. That's gonna be interesting to see if they can fight this. Okay, Riven is trying so badly to get the Kaiser kill, but he can't reach. But he can't reach, it's fine though. Oh, wait, so I can see it. 3 for 1, 3 for 1 for Blue, so it's looking really bad. It's looking really bad for them. They're gonna get the Inferno, they're super ahead. Phantom jumps in. Does he get another kill? Nope, but they're gonna get the mid trip plus the Dragon, plus 3 kills. Looking very good for Blue Set right now, right? What's the gold runner? 10,000 gold for Kaiser, 12,000 gold for Riven. I th you would think or you would assume they would have way more gold. They have 5 turrets, he has 11 kills, but Kaiser is only 2,000 gold behind on in the Riven. And he has a 2,000 lead on Ezreal still, even though they have so many turrets. And kills even. But yeah, each time they're getting a bounty or in, like an objective, that's gonna be so much gold. Ah, this is a really good team fight for them. Vladimir is also gonna die. Oh, very low. Riven is coming. Riven messed up the combo there. And he's gonna end up dying for it. Astro does get the kill on Ari though. But shut down from the Riven. That's a big mistake. Big mistake by the way, and they're gonna rush the Baron right now. Big mistake for Riven to jump in right there. His teammates fought without him and he gave shutdown away. Can they get the Baron though? As we ultimate, Pantheon ultimate coming. Pantheon ultimate gets two kills and now only Kaiser is alive and they stop the Baron attempt. Oh my god, Kranix is low life, he's gonna get away though. Oh yeah, Kranix landed the second ability on the Ezreal. He killed the Ezreal. That's why I zoomed in. And that's how much gold by the way, that's uh, 3 gold, getting the bounty. Oh 
Honestly, the red side has really good team comp. Volibear Mundo frontline for Kaiser, Ari with the Soraka on top of that. It's a really good team comp. It's just the early game is so so bad for them. Pantheon jumps in. Ari jumps in with the ultimate, misses her charm. Okay, Kaiser goes forward. Kaiser dies? No, Kaiser, uh, Kaiser too aggressive there. Soraka is just spam healing them. Soraka plus two frontline is just so so good. She's just gonna spam heal them. Heal, heal, heal. It's so hard to kill. Pantheon does get the kill onto this rocker though. But still, they are, they are closing the gap slightly. 24 to 16, only 5000 gold lead now. But to be fair, they still have very good late game. As real. As real plus Vladimir late game is insane and the Riven is super fat as well. Meanwhile, they have two tanky champions. Uh, Volibear plus Mundo, uh, Soraka late game with frontline is strong and Kaiser late game is also extremely strong. Can still go either way. At this point you can see the time was still running. The game is going longer than 26 minutes. This is gonna be a very long game, huh? Oh, Kaiser jumps in, gets the kill onto the Pantheon. Vladimir in the back line, gets the Soraka kill. Kaiser popping, gets two kills. Dragon is up. Three versus three on that dragon. Let's see. Oh, they're driven though. They're driven. They're driven. It's just running them down. They get three kills. They can go Baron. They can go Baron. It's only Soraka plus uh, Arya life. They can get Baron into Dragon. Baron plus Dragon now. And they don't have teleports incoming, so it's only Soraka plus Arya here. Yeah, that's a done deal. Yeah, they will get this. They get Baron, and then afterwards they can go for the Dragon as well. Not looking good at all. Now they're gonna siege and they have to defend against um, Baron buff team. They have Ezreal and Vladimir for poking. I mean honestly what they should do is just 1-3-1. One, one. I guess Riven side lane, Pantheon side lane and then the others go mid lane and try to siege and get the T3 turret. Well the others... All they have to do is just try to defend the ways and not to lose the tier 3 turrets. Okay, now they are setting up the 1-3-1. One, one. Pantheon topside, driven side lane and the others mid lane. And they're doing it correctly. 1-3-1, one, three, one, three barren ways crashing in. Kaiser goes in aggressive. Oh, Vladimir, huge ultimate. Ends up dying though. Ends up dying though. One kill. Elder spawning in 10 seconds. 30 to 19. 4 versus 5 though. 4 versus 5. I think Baron is running out or the buff is already gone now. The buff is gone and it's time to fight. Oh! Oh! Who's that? The Bolivar dies immediately though. 
Look at the heal. Look at the heal. Soraka healing. Soraka healing them up again. Soraka keeps healing them. They get the Leona. Riven? Riven? Riven dies. There are four people still. Ezreal is still alive. The charm misses. The charm misses. Do they get the Ezreal? Do they get the Ezreal? They get the Ezreal. Only Vladimir is alive and they will get the Elder now. Only Vladimir alive and they get Elder. Vladimir might try to go for the steal though. Vladimir is trying to go for the steal. Vladimir is trying to go for the steal. Soraka got it though. Soraka got it. You saw in the team fight they kept chasing but Soraka just kept healing them up. Up and up and up and up again. Just... Uh, okay. Just like Elgato. 2737779. They have Elder Ruin now. Baron is spawning. Plus, Vladimir is gonna be dead. Vladimir is dead. They have the opportunity to force this Baron with the Elder advantage. Elder is gonna give them tons of damage and the execution damage as well. And even split pushing though. Pantheon versus Ari. You can maybe kill the, kill the Ari. Pantheon is ambushing right now. Pantheon kills the Ari. That's huge. They are rushing the Baron right now. It's a 4 vs 4. 4 vs 4. Kaiser. Riven dies. Vladimir uses the ultimate onto the Baron. Kills the Soraka. And he steals the Baron. He steals the Baron. He stole the Baron. It's only Ezreal and Pantheon alive. I still think they have Elder. I think they still got the Elder. But they have Baron right here. They're trying to go for the finish. Huge damage by um, the Pantheon. Pantheon dies, the wave is there. And now the clutch Ezreal ultimate. The clutch Ezreal ultimate saves the game, kills two people, clears the wave, and they cannot end the game anymore pantheon doing tons of damage and pantheon with the ultimate cleaning them up i feel like in this game maybe kirk should have run banshee's veil wait i think he has visage this game right does he have visage visage more healing as well and gives some magic resistance against the uh, uh, vladimir Okay, this guy is going very aggressive. Soraka heals, Soraka heals, Soraka heals, and Riven dies. Huge. Okay, the Elder's running out and they still have Baron. The opponent still have Baron. Elder spawning in 20 seconds. Without Riven, they should be able to get the Elder. Riven, 40 second step timer, and Elder spawning in 15 seconds. What is getting? I feel like maybe he should have went for a resistance item in the end. Because he's dying pretty easily to Vladimir now in late game. Vladimir just jumped in into him and kills him. Because Soraka has... Like if Soraka stays alive, Soraka can, can just heal everyone uh, on zero cooldown the whole time. I'm not sure why they didn't attempt to... They're trying to ambush. Oh, he lands the charm. They're going. They pick off this Ezreal. That's huge. Vladimir in the back line. Vladimir kills the, uh, kills the Ari, I mean. Two kills for them. Ari, they're 2 for 1 right now. Pantheon in the side lane, pushing. Elder spawning 40 seconds. Wait, why did I say earlier that Elder's gonna spawn? I told. Oh, they're trying to go for the end again here. Pantheon with the ultimate. Clears the wave. Leona, huge ultimate. Leona goes in. Does Leona die? Leona ends up dying. Two people are alive. Two people are alive and Elder is spawning in 10 seconds. Can they get the Elder? 
I mean, they, they should be able to get the Elder and then Baron. Elder, Baron, and then they finish the game. Three people alive. Four people alive. It's a 4 vs 4. 4 vs 4. Oh, Pantheon got the tier 3 because of his push. Because of the push, they got the tier 3 turret. Okay, do they get the Elder? Oh, Pantheon stole the Elder with the first ability. Pantheon stole the Elder and they have the tier 3 turret because of Pantheon pushed the tier 3 turret. Uh, or, he, or he pushed the wave in and then he reset it and then no one defended the wave and that's how they got it. And now they have Elder, the tier 3 turret is open and Baron is also up. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news. This is bad news. One to three turret open and they have Elder. Plus Mundo is still dead for 10 seconds. S reverse Ari mid lane. I'm not looking at it right now. Ultimate, Leona jumps in. Vladimir, Vladimir with a huge ultimate. Vladimir with a fucking huge ultimate. He heals up again. Soraka in the backline is healing everyone as well. Soraka is healing everyone. Kaiser still legendary. They got two kills. Oh, the waves are looking so bad though. This game, by the way. Elder spawning, Elder plus Baron again, they're pushing the bot side. Riven is Ori, I think he's clearing the Baron or is he starting it? Is he starting Baron? Panther is split pushing right now, clearing the waves. There's no way Panther kills Mundo, right? Dude, Panther almost kills Mundo even. Panther is pushing bot wave. He's smart because Pantheon can always use ultimate to join team fights. Pantheon vs Dr. Mundo. Does he kill him? He almost kills the Dr. Mundo. He kills so How does Pantheon kill Dr. Mundo? What the hell? Okay, they're fighting. Isis in. Look at the healing. Look at the Soraka healing over and over. Soraka healing, Soraka healing, Soraka healing, Soraka healing. Insane. Soraka just keeps healing. Soraka dies though, and now Vladimir is here, and they're just cleaning up that game. That game. That's actually a game. Wait, the Pantheon build. Full crit build. Dr. Mondo. Dr. Mondo's full item and still dies to Pantheon. That's insane. That's insane. And that's GG's. That's the game. 19 kills on Kaiser. Uh, by the way, Kaiser had 100,000 damage to this game. Let's move on. I can show it to you guys. This is the damage tank. Damage done 115,000 damage on Kaiser. And healing. 80,000 healing. 80,000 healing by Soraka. Thirty minute game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out Kirk's channel as well. I see you guys. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush